welcome back to Hello Nigeria. I hope you haven't missed us too much. Now it's time for us to get into our lifestyle segments of the day. And of course, we are looking at fashion. Now in a bit, we have our fashion mix package coming to your screens. But before that, we have a men's fashion designer in the studio with us, SNY Kenna. And we're going to be speaking to him about hits and misses when it comes to men's fashion. And ahead of Lagos Fashion Week as well, we think this is an opportunity for us to tap into exactly what he's expecting to see on the runways. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much. I was expecting that when they said the male fashion designer will have like plenty dramatic <laughs> things, you know, plenty beads, nose ring and all that. Oh, so no. what would you say your own fashion style is? Uh, simple and classy. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so what would you say are your go-tos in your wardrobe? Um, uh, first of all, um, um, I so much um, go with the weather in Nigeria. Yeah, and um, most times I, I don't just, like you said, the dramatic stuff. Um, you know, you, mostly it's for people who do wrong way, couture stuff and all that. But what I basically go for is what I feel so comfortable wearing in every weather. Okay. Yeah. Just like me, I'm feeling very comfortable wearing this yeah. weakness in this hot weather. Yeah. <laughs> now, let's talk about um, heat or misses when it comes to men's fashion. Okay. So, what would you say are some of the most common fashion faux pas, the mistakes that men make when it comes to fashion? I used to hear back in the day that as a man, your wristwatch, your belt, and your shoes should be the same color, your socks should, you know, there's several rules. So, what would you say are some of the heats and the misses? Yeah, um, actually, um, you are right. Um, most most men out there don't know that when you wear your 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 belt and your shoes they are meant to match i've come across a lot of guys who wear different colors and it's it's i don't know if i should use the word rubbish yeah because um the simple uh, when you when you're making your matches it's it's meant to be the the shoe and the belt being the same like myself most times i go for same probably if i'm going for leather it has to be the same you have to make it match. Sometimes I hear the folks saying um, it's for the ladies, but it's for everybody. So I'm guessing you're not a fan of color blocking then? Uh, color blocking can be awesome if you make them so mature. Not when you go for everything shouty, shouty. It has to be mature. Well, I, I think do. these days we're starting to see a lot of men coming out with shouty. I think they call them alte. People are stepping out of their comfort zone wearing Optic alternative um, outfits and alternative colors. Colors that you would usually not ascribe to men. Maybe like yellow shirts and red pants and all that. So what would you make of that sort of there in fashion? Oh, well, most times I, I, I don't, I, 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 I don't um, judge them. You know, um, a lot of people have different um, perspectives towards what they wear. Um, a lot of people feel comfortable wearing whatever they, they feel like. I personally, I don't, um, I don't, I don't criticize them so much because probably that's their idea of fashion. But it is quite wrong when you wear yellow and red. It's, it's, it's not proper. You could, um, you could do your yellows with a black. You could do your yellows with a blue. And that's awesome. Ah, they not agree. will not agree with this thing you're saying. I like it. Personally, I Funny think yellow and red can be quite nice. Like, there are times where I wear a really nice pair of tight-fitted red trousers, okay. and then I get a pale yellow shirt, and I pair it together, and I think it looks awesome. Of uh, course, um, you're a lady, and then your color goes with it. But as a guy, that's too shouty colors. It's, okay. it's not proper. All right. Um... I'm sure we'll get to find out what do you think? Do you think that shouty or loud experimental colors are restricted to women or are men allowed to experiment as well and explore when it comes to the fashion industry and using lots of colors? Now let's talk about um, wardrobe malfunctions. What's the worst thing that can happen to a man, you know, in a, a male fashionista or a man generally who's dressed? What's the worst fashion mistake that could ever happen to a man? And how can you remedy it? So I've had a wardrobe malfunction. Leila, have you? Oh, yes. On the red carpet. <laughs> on the red carpet. Oh, no, I haven't. I the haven't one I have, I don't know if I can say, if I can explain the level of Go malfunction. It was very terrible. On two occasions, once my fly was down, like my zip was down, and I didn't know, I was just doing too much shakara, and I didn't realize until someone walked up to me. So ladies, if somebody's walking up to you, sometimes they're not necessarily trying to ask you out. <laughs> they just want to help you with your outfit. And yeah, the second exactly. one, I was wearing... Um, the kind of dress I was wearing, I was wearing... I can't even explain this one. I will tell you how we go <laughs> out there. But basically, how, what's the worst wardrobe malfunction that can happen to a man? Okay, just like you this? said, um, for the male, most times the zippers. And then if your fabrics are not of original materials, 
it could tear and um, it could be so bad. And if your undies are so dirty, like you know a lot of guys go on wearing their undies a lot of days and they're dirty. Um, Ew, people, how many days people you still wear your do that in 2018? <laughs> how many days you wear I'm your going own? to be very sincere. Two days. Okay. Yeah. For your boxers and your singlets. You wear your underwear for two days. Uh, my boxers, two days, yeah. Okay. So my, my singlet ones, because okay. I, I sweat easily. My. How many days do you wear your boxers and your singlets? This conversation will not end. <laughs> we'll take it to social media. We'll take it beyond our Instagram pages, and we'll continue to have this conversation. But we've had such a great time speaking with you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much for being here. How can people contact you on social media for some more fashion consultancy? All right. Um, my Instagram handle is at suitsbykena. Okay, you focus on suits as well. Mm, no, we do everything, but why it's a suit by Kenna is because um, that has been the passion. I've, I started with suits. I, um, I had um, my first breakthrough doing suits. Yeah, so um, for it to be, um, I've always wanted a name where everyone could. Say, okay, this is what you. I do, yes. Exactly, so that's your, that's your yeah, purpose. So. And you really make very um, lovely suits nice over there. So you can follow him and hit him up on Instagram. You don't get yourself fixed. And if you have, if you need style tips, if you're going for the fashion week, this is the man to talk can to. Can I ask one last question? Don't you think people would describe your glasses as Alte? Uh, I don't know whatever they call it, but uh, I wear it because I feel comfortable wearing it and because of my sight too, so... Nice. Oh, this is medicated. Yeah, it is. So at the end of the day, that means fashion for you is comfort. It's not really stepping too much there, out yeah. of your comfort zone. Yeah, it's comfort, zone. yeah. Okay, I understand. For me, it's, sometimes it's not necessarily comfort. It's just individual perception. I look at the mirror. Do I like what I see? If I like it, I don't care what other me, people Me, I don't want saying. to dress how I feel. Like today, I'm feeling positive and vibrant. Like so today, I'm, I'm feeling dead in my living. <laughs> you know? All right, thank you so much for joining us on the show. To so enjoy more of this, our will go get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.